Welcome back to Latin 2 and here at Wittenberg Academy. This is lesson 48 in first year Latin, a review of gender, indeclinable, and defective nouns. Um, you know, these general r rules, I mean, they're kind of interesting, the general rules for gender, that the names of uh, rivers, winds, and months, for example, are masculine, or that countries, towns, islands, and trees uh, tend to be feminine, uh, and then all these little special rules for each declension. I really don't find those useful. Uh, I wouldn't memorize this page. Just, just continue to refer to your uh, paradigm cards until you've got the declensions learned down pat. And uh, otherwise, I mean, I just don't find these rules helpful. Uh, point three on page 86. A few nouns are indeclinable. That is, they have one form in all cases, such as fos, which is right, as in... Uh, as a very spiritual aspect, as you know, what is morally or spiritually right, or or uh, nephos, you know, wrong, something immoral, instar, you know, the likeness or nihil, nothing. Uh, defective nouns. Many nouns lack some of the cases, owing largely to their meaning. So, for example, many nouns are only used in the singular, like Caesar. You know, there's only one guy, you know, Caesar. Abstract nouns, especially the fifth declension, such as fides or justitia, uh, uh, justitia is uh, justice. There's no, you know, justices. And the names of materials like gold. And those uh, other things are only in the plural. Some cities, uh, Athenae, Delphi, and other certain groups of words like libri, children, or gemini, twins. And special words such as arma, weapons, moinia, city walls, and castra, camp. So it's just uh, different idioms in Latin where we use singular, they use plurals. All right, uh, no new vocabulary or anything, just a straight up review chapter, kind of let you get caught up on those declensions if a couple of them are still giving you uh, difficulties so that you can take a little extra time and study those. Uh, we do have some translations though, so we'll do those. Pause the tape, work them out, come back, check your work. Number one. Kaiser cum legionibus ex castris in locum pugnae idonoem uh, discated. Uh, Kaiser cum legionibus ex castris in locum pugnae idonoem, idonoem uh, discated. So the verb is discated. I gotta look up idonoem. I always forget what that word means. And uh, I just sat down to do this recording. So you see that even I have been known to forget my vocabulary words. The verb is discated. So Caesar uh, leaves, departs, or rather left. It's a, uh, it is a perfect tense. So Caesar left cum legionibus with the legions from the camp to, he, he left to, you know, we say in, we say, they say in, but we left. To, he, they, they left to a place, a suitable place, a place suitable for a fight. So pugnae there is dative, a place suitable for a fight. Uh, it, it donaus means suitable or favorable. Uh, don't forget that one, like I did. Sentence two. Fides est fundamentum justitiae. Fides est fundamentum justitiae. Est is obviously the verb. It goes with fides, faith, or um, loyalty. Is fundamental, is a fundamental part of justice. Is fundamental to justice, we'd probably say in English. Sentence three, fractres gemini in opido sunt. Fratres gemini in opido sunt. Sunt is the verb. Fratres gemini. Uh, the, there, uh, there are twin brothers in town. Here you see that, that sunt uh, or est, uh, the Latins, could, well, the Romans could use that like, you know, we have to say there is or there are, but they just say are. You know, the, bro the twin brothers in the town. There are twin brothers in the town. Pirata nihil in insula we debit. Pirata nihil in insula we debit. Well, there's a future uh, we debit. The, the pirate shall see nihil in insula, nothing on the island. All right, that's it for verse, or rather lesson 48. And that gets us versed in all of our 
uh, all of our noun declensions and gives us a little extra time to study them so that we can be ready for a quiz. So when you feel comfortable with those declensions, move on to lesson 49.